all right welcome back everybody to episode 77 of the expert expert iron man playthrough of war tales uh we just finished ludern last time now we're moving on up to Gusenberg. i guess we'll do alazar last uh i think i'm gonna go hit these mines and stuff though real quick that is what is on the docket get me the hell out of here I'm not particularly rich though so it's not like i'm gonna be able to afford much from the place Ooh, ooh, iron though after i hit these mines perhaps just perhaps oh yeah here you go does this look familiar to anybody hint this is where you start the game <laughs> you start right in that little i don't what do you call that i don't know A, a piece of land that's surrounded on three sides by mountains. I'm not sure it has an actual name. But that's where you start. I think. It's been a while since I was there. <laughs> I think that's it though. It's so nice how much etherite I get from these. Oh. My little pointer wasn't on the circle, so it didn't let me do it. Is that it? Just two here? Okay. Yeah, that is where you start. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we hit this mine, and then I go here. Do I hit these two? Uh... So much walking around. I'll do it anyway. I need to pop the, um... Oh, did I buy food? I think I did, actually. Just flowers? Don't aggro me. Okay, this one is here. Pedra Mountain Mine. Oh yeah, this is a triple. Oh baby. Oh, oh baby, a triple. All right. Seven more etherite. How much Arcadian steel am I gonna have? I think it's gonna be a lot. Seven more etherite? <laughs> Holy crap. Five more? All right, we are on our way. I have a zip down, yep. Yeah, okay, good. I don't need to steal training books. We just won't do that. All right, Kornick is still good. It's level 10 on his weapon. Sibbard's shield is crap. Sibbard's weapon needs to be upgraded. Menesme's weapon needs to be upgraded. Colt's weapon needs to be upgraded. Oh no, Menesme's doesn't. He's level 9. He's almost level 10. Alt could be. Inquisitor mm. doesn't have anything to upgrade. I guess I should give Gerard the other weapon. Or a second weapon. So you can actually use it. Oh yeah, I got a new swordsman. I forgot about you. Confident, clever swordsman. Or I guess in this case, swordswoman. Uh, ooh, completely forgot about this chick. 
Hmm. Well, gonna have to address that. Eventually. What do I actually upgrade here? Marlor Spear? Because it's like super old. Let's do Colt's Mace once and then we'll look at Marlor's Spear. I don't think I'm ever going to change Marlor's weapon. Your companions doesn't carry their weight. Don't be afraid to take it up. Thousand gold to go from 45 to 59 though. That is a 14 strength increase. Then it goes from 59 to 75. That's a 16 strength increase. All right, this guy is very bad. We can probably do this like twice, realistically. Another nine. Okay. Okay, well, that was not as much as I would have liked, but it's whatever. Cult now has 111 strength. He has more strength than Kordic. But I guess that's not surprising since Kordic's only using a one-hander. Two-handers are... Hey, they get kind of nutty, huh? So I need to find a uh, Vili here. A Flam... A Flamberg. Oh. Oh, let's go talk to this merchant before I camp. Hello, merchant. I'd like to speak with you. I want to know what you have for sale. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my oh. concerns? You have pro proboscises. Why? Well, but, uh, but why? How much do they cost? Uh, maybe I'll buy them. I might need them for something, and I think... Well, at least the only place I've seen them so far is the, uh, the Swamp Lair area. Um, I wanted to look at this. Alchemical Residue. Hey, I need more Alchemical Residue. You need this to make Acadian Steel, right? I think it's one-to-one. -one. I have more etherite than I have alchemical residue, so that's an issue. All right, a uh, villi. What's up, buddy? Um, I guess I need to put you on the thing. Level ten. You. Should I leave the you on there, Gerard? I don't think I should. How come I can't cover Gerard anymore? There it is. You put him in in prison? I bet that would go well. I guess I might as well level you up. Alright, so you're gonna be a fighter with the destabilizing strike. And then you're going to take, I guess, Valorous Duel again. I have a weapon in mind with her. I want to use a Flemberg. The bonus is active on this unit. They apply weakening. No, we'll just go counterattack again. And then, yeah, you go hardcore training because it's very good. And then counterattacks very good. And then upgrading to stabilizing strikes very good. All right, and now we need to do movement and crit. Hmm, I guess we'll do... Second point movement there. Why are you at an, such a weird movement number anyway? Why do you have 15 movement? Oh, porridge. Okay, so she's actually at 14. Okay. 
Once she's at 19, she's actually at 18, and then when she's wearing heavy armor, she built 16. I think that's where we stop with giving her movement. Actually, I could have just not been doing this at all, right? Mm, yeah, that was probably a mistake. Well, yeah. Because now she's at 16, but when I put layers in her armor, it's going to go out really high. Probably would have been better to put them in a crit. Oh, well. It's too late. I already specced her. It's uh, too late for that. Okay, lucky we got some meals here. Culture shock. Isn't that nice? All right, a little easier to feed everybody. We'll do that. Why's the game like stuttering like that? Knowledge increased. Got some happiness and stuff. And then we'll go into... Oh. Surround supported. Damage dealt by animals. Damage of shooting skills. Hmm. Then we go in here and we do... Overflowing motivation. And I guess we'll do trade fair eventually, just so I can go sell a bunch of stuff. The rest of these are kind of mid. It's like respect thy enemy, overflowing motivation. And then, I don't know. The rest are kind of meh. We'll go to town in Korsha here and see what I can buy as well. See if there's anything worthwhile. I mean, I'll probably buy food stuff. Might I interest you in my oh, you're the merchant I already talked to. Oh. Oh, right here. This is where I get up. I knew there was a way up here easily. So I'll go bam, bam, Korsha, and then I'll just run all the way back up. This one is further to the right. Over here. Because cops were running around down there. Oh, this is an iron mine that has no iron. Very exciting. Oh, that was a waste of time. Now let's go check the other one. There's like maps and stuff that you can get that'll tell you all this stuff. Or there's maps and stuff that people have made online. Tell you where you can find the iron and things like that, but eh. Whatever, I'll just run there. Hello, piggies. Please don't aggro me. Oh, look at their aggro radius. It's very small. This is the one where the starving guy was. Right? This one has iron. Two, two things. That's fine. I wonder if the amount of etherite and stuff that I get also has to do with the fact that he's a master miner now. I mean, it surely does. 14 iron too. Holy. That is so much iron. Ooh, that was almost late. Yeah, that's where the starving guy was. Or ex-starving guy, since, you know, <laughs> ate his parents. Delicious. What is that? Oh, it's flowers. Looks like just a bunch of rubble. 
blends in. I think that's probably the same merchant. Okay, so let's go to here. Which one of you is the one that actually sells? Not that, not you. Okay, cool. <laughs> She says, Let's see, spices and pills. Surfers. They've been running rampant in these parts since. You can sell them to Amber, but you need. What do you need? Amber, okay. Oh, I can't. Can't sell them either. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserts. What about my grease supply? 37. Oh, since the beginning of the war. Spices, pelts, and gems. Oops. What do you have? I want to look at the town. Can't you look at the town and see what they make? I guess not. I thought you could. For truce? I have an unfinished quest in here? I have an unfinished quest in Ludern. Oh, it's this to Alazar. Yeah, okay. Don't care. I have an unfinished quest here, which is Tomb Raiders, but... I don't, I don't know why. Alright, anyway. Uh, enough of that. Let's buy food. The war drags on. And Lahart and Vanalis requisition anything they come across. I barely have anything left to sell. Let's Let see eat. here... Buy this, this, and this. What do you have, My sir? Is quite pungent, I admit. Orc? But I can assure you, it is still perfect. Man, I, I, I remember this place. This place has very bad, like, food supplies. I have pretty much nothing here. All right, let's go to alchemy, huh? I have a lot of alchemy to do in the form of making metal. 36 rhyme steel. We don't have enough alchemical or alzarian powder for this. And then 34 Arcadian, which we definitely don't have enough alchemical residue for that. Okay. I mean, that is a lot of resources though. Let's just do this over and over. Hey, like we actually managed to process all our rhymes still though. Okay, dokie. Now that's right, not even close. Oh, they added the the sound back. I just realized the uh the crafting sound has returned. It was missing before. Back now. Ba -ba -bum. This explosive oil is pretty decent. Fifty percent chance to do five percent. I don't know who I'd actually run that on though. Though. Weeding. Poisoned ghost throwing knife. I go. This isn't a. Oh yeah, craft once. All right, let's craft this once. It returned to me a ghost throwing knife. What the hell? Sure. Pultis. No, no, no. We don't need any of this stuff. Now I should be able to make the next tier of poison throwing knives though, right? No? Why not? Is it because I don't have this tier? Or I've never made this tier, the rhyme steel throwing weapon. Where is the rhyme steel throwing weapons? Here? Yes. Ah, yes, because I've never made them, I guess. All right. Let's go make one rhyme steel throwing weapon. Why is loading taking so long?
I think it's time to make Arcadian steel stuff too. Rhyme steel throwing knife. 7% crit. 35 to 60% dex. What is it? 35 to 60? Oh, wow. It's up 5% min and max. Is that normal? 550? Yeah, it is. Okay. 5% is a lot from the min and max. Wait, why are these so expensive to make though? Takes two rhyme steel to make these. Aren't these one? Yeah. Look how inexpensive these are. One, 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 one. One, two, three. All right, well, we'll make one set of them. Just so I can learn more stuff. The Akkadian steel. 40 to 60, 10% crit. Wait, does that mean this thing is the throwing sickle gives 15 guard? And the throwing hatchet gives 15 crit. Damage. That's pretty wild, man. What is... I need to make a two-handed rhyme seal weapon to get the Arcadian two-handed weapons. Although, realistically, I don't even know if I'm going to bother making that. The poisoned rhyme seal stuff is... Is, I think, the same? 30 to 60? Is that the same? Okay. Does 5% less minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still. This is very strong. Alright, so what am I even going to make here? Gideon Steel Katzbalger. One-handed? 46 strength. Flamberg. See, this is the cleave sword, which is not what I want. I want the single target two-handed sword. Morning star. Honestly, maybe the morning star is like, no. It's second, this, the double attack uh, mace is definitely better. Acadian Steel Stiletto. That thing is terrifying. I mean, I could make... Can Laura will equip Acadian? Acadian's... Oh, it's 11, right? I have... Don't I have, like, one person who's 11? No, I have nobody that's 11 yet. Oh, no. Marlor. Marlor is 11. <laughs> the uh, person that I will not make a weapon for, for sure. Hmm. Well, that's not helpful. Anyone else even remotely close? Yes, Cult is almost 11. Cult, what are you wearing, buddy? Don't I have a better helmet that he can wear actually at 11? Yeah, I mean, 5% crit. That's very good, but... The Alzar fortitude part is wasted on him. Oh well, he can have it. I mean, I can, I, I could give it to Marlor right now too. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at. Can I just make a bunch of my really shitty helmets? Basic armor, light armor, helmets, helmets. These, the hats. Damage increased by 10% for each debuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the best helmet effect that I have. Immunity to blackout and slow down is actually pretty nice. If there was a immunity to Uh, there's not, I forget what it's called. The thing where you do 50% less damage while engaged with your target. 
or 50% less damage to the engaged target. That would actually be pretty decent. That doesn't exist. Can I make a pair of pony plate? Let's make, let's make some pony plate. <laughs> I never made this. It's a good warm up. If I actually craft anything here. Wow, pony plate. Hey look, now I can go learn the next pony plate. Medium? Alright, let's make some medium pony plate. Thanks, rhyme steel. Dude, it's not even good. I don't understand the pony thing. Why? I have a war pony. Like 22, 131 for rhyme steel? That's not. That's, that's pretty bad. All right, heavy pony plate is okay, but now it takes a Canadian steel. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to make that. So I'll have to get some people serpent instead of rat. Although it feels so bad. Maybe the upgraded serpent is a lot of strength. The upgraded rat is one eight, which is a lot. Although it might be something like this, 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, six is actually pretty good. 4-6 is... I guess it's the same. Actually, no, this is actually... No, yeah, this is the same. It's the same as 1-8. Okay, like... Talent point-wise. One movement's actually bad. I think this is actually slightly better than 1 8. Let's make some serpent layers. Three of these. Unlocked the title Enhanced Layers. Nice. Now I can't learn the next one. Or does it auto learn? I don't remember. No, I have to learn it. Okay, so it's 4 6 again. Actually, I think that's very good. I think that's better than rat. Isn't Parmigal currently running rat? Yeah. He's only at 19 movement though with the rat, so I guess that's fine. I guess 19 is kind of high actually. Who else would I give these Colossal Reinforced Layers to? I could give them actually to Cult. Because Cult having high movement is really important. And he has high strength already. Our strength's really high because of Culture Shock. Culture Shock gives him 20 strength. Good lord. Food buffs are so strong. There were two of us working. Hello, lady. Count Lahart enlisted my cousin in his army. I haven't heard from Clay since. All right. What do I? What do I? What do I? What do I do here? Uh, where my gear? There. That should do the trick. I guess I'm just not gonna craft anything yet. I could do a little cooking. 10 pork stew. Oh, very nice. Another culture shock. All right, we can just get out of here now. I did what I wanted to in this region. Um, actually, I think I'm going to buy your trade goods. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. They've been running rampant. Mm. I don't have a lot of weight right now, though. Of the war. This is 50 right here. 
which would overburden me. I can... wait, I... let me look at something. I can rip stuff out of my travel post, right? Oh, I never built it here? Before the war, I hope to see it rebuilt one day. Alright, well, well, I guess that's not happening. I wanted to just check that. Thick-skinned spearman. A clever ranger. A clever drunkard brute. Do you have any, like, quests around here that I didn't do? Yeah, this, like this right here. This guy will probably have a weapon. Stormcap is desperately, Storm, Stromcap is desperately looking for five gems. He's ready to pay the price. All right, let's do this. And then we'll take this one too. Because Stromcap is on the way to where I'm going again. They want five gems. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across. Okay, and then into these parts since How do I fix my overburdenness? The answer is I craft a bunch of crap. All right, let's do some crafting. All right, what do we want to make? What's the priority on gear? I think maybe some helmets. Some kettle hats. Make like three or of these or so to start. Not kettle hats. Steel salads. Maybe make like three of these to start. How many people am I actually going to keep? I think Cornix, Sibbard. Definitely. <clears throat> I maybe will keep Inquisitor. Macemen are really hard to not keep. They are by far the best tank. Rohan and Heronor. Uh, yeah, I don't know about all that. I honestly think I'm going to put Heronor away although Heronor is good to have if you're trying to get really 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 big crit numbers because of looting experience like what why does this I don't understand why that she actually gets to keep that it's crazy to me um I guess I should make armor for cult and marlor all right let's make three helmets and two Acadian steel medium armors holy shit it's so fast what the hell it's okay we still got a two star but oh my god is that fast okay well hold on to your butts That is uh, very fast. Oops, that was a battle plate. Uh, that was wrong. That was supposed to be a medium armor. And I'll need the heavy armor eventually, so it's fine. Hey, there's a three star. 286 armor. On a medium. What? <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why is this the thing? I can only make one bow? Oh, because I don't have any rope. Okay, we're not making bows. <clears throat> now we'll make... Make three helmets. Oh, God. Why is this slower? Why was that so much slower? Okay, we still got a two star though. That was so much slower than the than the armor. What the hell? Is 
the the speed difference between that and the armor is like Ugh Threw me way off Okay, so that's three salads, two armors, um, should I make two more heavy armors, I guess, and that will kill my coal pretty much. How much do these things sell for? All right, this on my pony plate, 380. 483 for a three-star? <laughs> what the? Oh my god, that's so much money. And that's before trade fair. Holy Jesus. All right, we'll make two of these, though. Okay, it's going to be really fast again. <clears throat> Why the speed is so different. It's the same tier. I'm guessing because it's helmets and it wasn't like implemented the same in the back in the programming or whatever. Okay. I get any three stars? No, all two stars. That's fine. Um, I think I realistically need to craft a bunch of two handed iron weapons and then sell them. I think axes ends up being the best uses a large amount of leather <clears throat> or the largest of all of them maybe pony plates better oh let me go look at pony plate where is pony plate i think it's at the very bottom oh pony plate uses coal oh light pony plate uses leather really and coal still what the hell? I think we just go two-handed iron axes. 36, 56. wonder which one's mathematically better. 10, 4, 4. 8, 3, 2. 6, 5, 2. I'd rather actually, yeah, not spend the wood. I need the wood to make the coal. Maybe go with the sword, ten four four. Because I think the axe is what ten ten six four or something. Yeah, I'd rather not spend the wood if possible. Eight eight ugh. Seven three three or thirty six. Eight three two or thirty six. Uh, we'll just make iron falcons. That's fine. I wish I could mass produce these. Oh God, it's so slow. I swung early because it was so slow. Hey, it made a three star still. So I guess you can miss one and it doesn't matter. You can still get a three star proc. What if it just like lowers the chance or something? <clears throat> we're, we're not gonna make all of these we'll probably make like half because you need iron to still make the Acadian steel stuff but I have 150 iron which is way too much oops bonk that nice dull like thud Instead of the shiny, like, twing, you just get a bonk. You ready? <laughs> you fucked up. Oh god, I actually, that one actually wasn't even on purpose. <laughs> just swung early. Crafting's hard, man. We're gonna go down to 50 iron. I think that'll be fine. I almost swung early there, too. 
Going from making Arcadian steel to the generic iron stuff. It is jarring the speed difference. What? I was late on that one? Really? Huh. Interesting. All right, last sword. Then I'll trade fair and sell. Go in here, go here, trade fair. Troop is getting tired, not really. Okay, hello lady, how much money you got? Why don't you take these and this and take this pony plate that I don't want? All right, made a little bit of money there, not bad. More importantly, I cleared out inventory. And then, what was I doing? Oh, I can equip people now. Marlor, buddy. How do I shift and right click to take your layers out? And you can have the plus two. Or, the, yeah, the weaker of the two chest plates. There you go, bud. Look at that. 275 armor. Holy. What the f Jesus, he's got more armor than my tanks now. Oh, Kornix got him beat by four. 275. We're in a fucking pole arm. Do I give you these stags again? I mean, stags aren't really good. I think I just give him the strength crit ones. Uh, serpent. Oh yeah, these take coal. That's annoying. I'm not going to give him like the really good ones yet. Because... Uh, I mean, I guess I could have actually. Sixty-one percent crit. He's got 275 armor and he's wearing this shitty level 7 light helmet. I were to give him... Uh, where is that other helmet? Where are my helmets? This guy? Which I guess I should for now. Got 310 armor. What is the scaling? There's zero chance my medium person needs this much art. All right, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, it's great. Everything's great. Oh, I even have Gerard on rat. Gerard might need rat though. His movement's kind of low. Realistically, I should just level his movement next level and then switch him to serpent. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's all good and dandy. Aren't you wearing stag too? Well, this ribe still can yeah, this sells for 400. How about the one I just unequipped? How much does the ghost one sell for? 225? Well, that's why his armor went up. He went from ghost to Arcadian. That was a big jump for him. Well, we're just gonna sell that as well. There were two of us working here. I don't need this. Enlisted my cousin in his army. I haven't heard from Clay since. Um, I guess I should equip or crap uh Vili some some armor. Can I still? Probably not, right? Because I have no coal. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. Well, uh, whatever. We're not gonna get any combat for now. So she should be okay. Probably. Hello, merchant. Are you the same merchant from before? Might I interest you in my mm, humble ways, my good sirs? Maybe? I don't think so. Maybe. Oh wait. 
Wait, wait, wait. I'm not. Hold on. I need to go buy trade goods. I forgot. Wait. I'm back. Need to buy gems and stuff. Now that I actually have the. Wait, I already bought the gems, right? I think so. But I need to buy other things. Oh, I don't believe a word she says. She probably came across a band of deserters. Okay, bye. Now we go on. Sell the gems to Stormcap. Turn that quest. Oh, I need to go do this quest. All right, hold on. I forgot about this this quest I took down here. I want to kill this person and see what weapon they give me. I'm like 90% sure this is going to give me a weapon. So, <clears throat> Vili's going to be in this fight. But she has no gear. So she'll just hide somewhere, I guess. Give me all your flowers, thank you. Is this the quest? No. No, those are just some guards or whatever. We gotta go down the coast here. This is not close. That's not the quest either. There's another Brotherhood thing right here. Shipwreck Cavern. I don't think there's mining down here, but I'm going to check. I think this is just the passageway. Oh, no, there is one iron vein. Yoink. Gimme, gimme. <clears throat> Seven more Etherite that I can't use. Oh, and there's one on the other side. Oh, there's two on the other side of the cave. Wow. Huge, actually. It's huge. I missed. Okay, thank you. This does appear to use fatigue and stuff. I haven't been watching, but my fatigue definitely has been going down. Does it go down? Or does it go down when I move? Oh. Uh, I didn't mean to come out over here. I meant to go back. I don't, I'm not going to bother fishing and all that stuff. Why are these deserters just hanging out? Where's my quest mob? Is that my quest mob? I guess so. Hello. Defending the weak yep. and the fatherless is easy on a full belly. But when you go hungry, chivalry and fealty go out the window. Okay. Sure. Alright, he's using a mace of some sort. Three. I don't even have that many units. Eight, nine, ten, thirteen. He's the same number of units as me. Seems kind of low. All right, where is he? Here he is, misery. Oh, I have one of these already. Um. That's okay. I could use another one. These are actually those are actually very good. So that's fine. Now where's our buddy Vili here with her? Why do you have a hundred health? Guess it's just her class. Very tanky. Oh, 
Alright. We're just gonna make a line. Yeah? 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 13. Okay, this is everybody. <clears throat> Why are you... No, these are level 12 enemies. They seem kind of squishy. Anyway. Um, you can hang out like here and then just run away. So over here we have three archers. Looter, a henchman, and one big boy. Oh, you are not squishy though. He is looking... This unit and their allies have leader's protection. Okay, so I need to kill you quickly. You're annoying. He has a hundred strength. That is a lot. How much strength does Kornik have with his food buff? Oh, 108. Okay. Kornik wins. <laughs> and Kornik is the winner. I think the cleave opportunity is only here. Even then, it's not great. Kornick, and then... Oh, Lore will just kill him after Kornick softens him up. And then... Sibbird, you should probably be the one that gets on that guy. Don't think realistically we're going to... Use a battle cry here. Our units are way too spread out. Herador. I guess I need you down here. Even though you can't, you can't even use taunt. I learned, made him learn taunt and he can't use it. All right, let's roll, I suppose. Margo could probably just straight kill this guy. We'll do that instead. Triple crit. Uh, Parmago? What happened to the crits, bud? What happened to the crits? Okay. Good enough. You're next, Mr. Renegade. Uh, I'm not going to bother ovationing. Here, can I taunt some people? No. <laughs> this AoE is so small. There you go. Some poison and corrosion for you. You're welcome. Don't say I never gave you anything. Big 15. Big. Ooh. Took a lot of damage right there from all that. Hey, looter. Guess I'll just put Inquisitor on it. Which weapon do you have? You have the fragility one? Yeah. The way that the battle here is, is actually kind of yuck for me. It's hard to find a free turn. Archer's gonna go. I guess Gerard's up. Swing, swing, it didn't kill. Got to use another Valor. I mean, I guess I didn't actually need to. It would have died on its turn anyway. Just stand in his henchman's face. Now we can make some leeway. Because Cult should be able to kill these guys. You can't hit all three, though. Uh, 
like 90% sure. Yeah, he can't. Um, I guess we just hit these two then. Jeez, 160. Hey, Kornick's gonna kill this guy by himself. Kornick could probably also just kill this instead. Um, I really want to kill uh, Meliance though, because he's got a really annoying debuff or buff. How much damage does Wrath do? Well, I can actually just leave this looter up. Yeah, it's fine. He's not going to do anything. 183, huh? Very close. With a Wrath, he's dead, right? Yeah, might as well. Get rid of their protection buff. And then... Oh, I can't go over there. Unless they go over and taunt the looter too, but... Not possible. No, don't stab me. It's a disaster. Can you face stab him, Lorwell? I kind of doubt it. This is getting a little dicey over here. I mean, Mara hasn't gone yet, but... Are you the Coupe de Gras? Oh, they have the Coupe de Gras mace. Okay, so that guy's gonna do nothing. He's gonna do absolutely nothing. Oh, your back's gonna be toward a mountain. Quick. This guy's back's over here? What the? F it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's gonna knife throw this guy. Here you go. Have a knife. 100 damage and then I'm gonna combo stab you that's how you rogue buddy all right take notes galvanized that's fine non crit I guess it wasn't a backstab Um, she can frenzy more. She still has her basic auto too, actually. Let's uh, just keep on moseying on this way. Do, 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 do. You're dead. You're dead. Hmm. Can you kill this one with a normal auto? If you crit? No. Too much guard. That's okay. Ooh, big 35. Big. Huge. Massive 35. Mm, I'd like to set up a, a little barrage action here. Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. Now, I might just run Sibbard like here. So they try to attack him. Well, the Raiders might try to go find a cleave situation. They might say, hey, I don't give a crap. I'm going to go look for something to cleave. Erinor is dead turn. Vili is dead turn. I only have like two actual, three actual turns left. It's these three. Shibber, just go stand here. Go be enticing bait. 
Well, that was disappointing. What happened to my crit? Bruh. We do need to kill this thing. Before it tries to kill Lorowell. Or hurt, attack, whatever. Oh, I could capture these. 64? What the hell? That's terrible. Laurel and Mara are now best friends. Isn't that nice? I don't think they're often hanging out with each other, though. Um... I could kill you. I probably should. Sifford and Mara are now best friends. Wow, we're just getting all the friends today. Come on in, big boy. I think with a crit, you don't die. Yeah. Not enough damage. Doesn't have enough rage stacks yet. I would like to have Marlor go last. Because he can, like, push these guys around. Really? You can do 20 damage to somebody? How about you just run away instead? <laughs> with your five armor. Who hasn't gone? Oh, Heronor. Yeah. Good turn. Solid turn. 10 out of 10. Oh, where are you going? Don't try to cleave. You're not even trying to cleave anybody. The f... The f... What is this guy doing? This guy is trolling. Ooh, almost killed him. For the barrage. Go ahead, go set up your cleave or whatever. No one cares. Good job. Look at how many turns I have before you go, buddy. It's not in the books, I promise. Laura will? Um, hello? What the hell was that? She didn't crit one of her attacks. Dude, that's so rare. Oh, you're trying to, you're trying to kill me, huh? No, no, no. Let me show you how it's done, bud. Oh, that doesn't count as a, um, a buff. This targeting. I mean, that would be pretty stupid if it did count as a buff. Uh, no. No, we'll kill him. We'll kill him. Where's Parmogol? Parmogol, go murder this guy. In the dirt. Alrighty, another vicious, or another misery. It's a higher level misery too. That's nice. Hey, we could also, yeah. Here's intimidating effigy. <clears throat> Ten percent for each debuff. It's the same as the helmet that I can make. Okay. Well, that was a fight, I guess. So they did give us a weapon, but it wasn't that interesting. Or I already have one, I guess. Oh, I have Basher. It's a different weapon with the same effect. <clears throat> hmm. And this one's Misery. Interesting. Well, um, yeah, cool. It's one level higher. That is it for this episode. So we'll run back up and then we'll probably actually get to the next region next episode. This whole sidetrack thing. It's a bit slow. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go hit the upper areas. I mean, I can turn in in Korsha, I guess, and then walk up here and then turn in this stuff, sell the gems, turn in that quest, buy whatever food's available, go up here, turn in this stuff. Buy whatever food's available. And we just go up. Maybe I stop at the training grounds, but I doubt it. I don't have that much money. So yeah, that is it for this episode. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later.